So I came into Nashville to check out some music. I had a gig at a writer's night. I had a ticket to the Ryman to see Todd Snyder. And just going to go around, do a bunch of open mics, and check out a bunch of music here. So first off, I stayed where I always stay at, at Music City Hostel. It's kind of a long walk to Broadway from there, but uh, it's manageable at least once per day. So first thing I did after I got into the hostel is I went down to Broadway to check it all out. There was buskers on the streets over there. Here I go, play the star again. I went and found lunch at Arnold's Country Kitchen. Now, I've always wanted to check out this place because I heard that it's where John Prine used to go. We used to get like meatloaf there. So I went and it was like a meat and three. They didn't have meatloaf, but they had some pretty amazing food. Next up, I went to the Ryman, the famous Ryman Auditorium right there uh, next to Broadway, known as the birthplace of bluegrass. And so much history there because of the uh, sound and the acoustics that they have in that room. Uh, I took a tour of it and got to see some of the backstage areas, some of the places where the artists would hang out before the show, like Johnny Cash and June Carter, that's where they initially met each other. And I you know, really enjoyed getting backstage in that tour. Going into those rooms, like I actually felt like there was something there, you know, like some sometime really cool connection there back in the backstage of the Ryman. But I actually uh, had a ticket later that night to see Todd Snyder right there at the Ryman. <laughs> And the best thing about seeing a show at the Ryman is that everybody is excited to be there. The artist is super excited to be playing. And so the crowd is even more supportive than usual. They'll be singing along more than usual. So then I had my gig, my little writer's night, at uh, Debbie Champion's writer's night at the Commodore. I've been bad since you set me free. Been better the other times that you know me. I'm alone now that I lost my one and only. I'm alone. And I found an open mic at Coco Cafe. Nice little intimate uh, place. Take me down to the river town. Take me down to the cemetery road, yeah. Take me down to the river town. Won't you take me down to My friends from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Ryan Painter and his band The Resistors. They were playing a gig at Dee's Country Cocktail Lounge, so I went to see them and spent some time with them, hung out with them for a while. I want to hear a song about a broken heart or being misunderstood. They don't get me wrong, I don't hate every song in the name. 
get excited when I could see people that I know here in Nashville and especially when they're playing a gig for the first time. Everybody's super excited. Uh, it's quite the experience. So that was my trip to Nashville. It is my third time being here and you know I'm grateful. It keeps getting bigger. There's all these new things that are popping up all the time it seems and uh, just keep, keep trying to keep track of it all and I am grateful that I could stay at that hostel, Music City Hostel, for an affordable place that's easy and easy to walk around, because walking around the city is really important to me. I did almost get run over once, so that really uh, sucked. I'll make a note of that. But yeah, this city is growing quite a bit, and uh, I always have a whirlwind of a time when I come and do a bunch of things and just get really excited about being there. It's uh, an unusual experience. You can't be in Nashville every day, and you certainly can't live it up in Nashville all the time. So I always enjoy it when I do. So thanks for checking out this video. I post about my music and my musical experiences here on this channel. So hit the subscribe and the bell to stay tuned on my posts. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this video. If you'd like to learn more or have me check out some other places, let me know. So thanks for checking us out, and thanks for your support.